So in both these problems, we must know the formula that elastic deformation energy per unit volume is given by half stress into strain. So we are going to use this formula which we have just derived. You can see that in the playlist in the video just above that. So elastic deformation energy per unit volume is half stress into strain. So in this problem, he is asking the elastic deformation energy of a steel rod of mass m stretched to a tensile strain uh, epsilon. So we know u by v is y epsilon square by 2. Now we are not given volume, but we are given mass. So we will write the volume as mass by rho and this will be our answer. Second problem, we have a steel rod of length L and radius R that is suspended from the ceiling. We need to find the elastic deformation energy and U in terms of strain. So elastic deformation energy as we know is half stress into strain or you can rearrange it and write it as stress square by 2y. But here the strain is not uniform over the length of the rod. So let's find the energy stored in one small section of the rod and then we can integrate this du to find the total energy stored. So if we take the element at a distance x from bottom of uh, height dx, so for that we can write the elastic energy stored is given by du by dv is equal to sigma square by 2y where sigma square is the strain at this point. And we know strain at this point is given by let's say fx which is the tension at this point divided by area of the rod. And we know that tension is supporting all this weight. So value of the tension will be mass of this part of the rod times g. So fx will be mx into g and dv for this small volume we can write as dx into area. Now what is mx? So that is rho times volume of this area. So we write it as rho ax. So remember we are not introducing length just now. We can always put it later. So let's get everything in terms of general terms of rho and area. So what we get is du is equal to half rho x g square into pi r square dx. So you can see area will get cancelled. So one area will get cancelled from here. Sorry, sorry, uh, we are given, given the radius r. So this area will we can write as pi r square. So now we got a relation between energy and x. So we integrate the x from 0 to L and get our answer. Second part, u in terms of tensile strain. So here we got u in terms of rho, r, l and y. So let's try to get u in terms of tensile strain. So for that we need to know what is the strain of the hanging rod. And that we derived in 1.298. So I am not doing it again. So for a hanging rod delta L comes to be rho g L square by 2y. So you can eliminate any one term from these two equations. So you can eliminate rho for example. So if you write rho in terms of uh, the rest of the things and put it here, you will get u is equal to 2 by 3 pi yr square l into strain square. Alright.